Wyoming has proven to be a hot spot for unusual fluffy activity since I moved here. Of particular note is the appearance of what online resources call bowl fluffies. They seem to appear exclusively in the wild, with information on them being very limited due to their apparent rarity and often deep wilderness habitat. I had an encounter with one such bowl fluffy family last winter, out during a trip to Yellowstone. were making a fluff pile on their mother's back. Somehow, they didn't seem to notice me. <laughs> so sorry, Sissy. No me give her hurry. Look, Sissy. We'll make hurry fluff pile with brother. <laughs> Silly brother. Sissy, rub. Make fluff pile on mama Pepsi. Too new nasty. I was made aware of their presence before I even saw them with the unmistakable and irritatingly loud sound of Fluffy's babbling along with the din of the mama song traveling up the way. The park was unusually dead, apparently emboldening feral Fluffies to come out and about, despite the unsuitably cold weather. Out in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, I was trekking a bit far off the beaten path. My GPS would be of no help so I decided to just follow the fluffies at a distance to see where they would lead me, if anywhere. I was beginning to question my sanity in choosing to follow feral fluffies around. But then I heard the chatter change tone to one of excitement. I couldn't hear it very well from where I was, but it sounded like the mayor was singing one kind of tone-deaf celebratory song. Babies, look! Mama, my mom's the family! I was shocked to discover that the hapless family had stumbled upon an uncharted hot spring, seemingly ecstatic to have some relief from their walk through the cold. Couldn't blame them honestly, winter in Wyoming gets pretty nasty. So pretty, Wawa. It's so warm. No feel cold no more. Okay, babies. Mama gonna cross the Wawa now. Mama see Rockies over there for nasty. This bestest day ever. Okay, babies, climb up see in Mama's tummy ball. Then her milkies cross into Wawa. Wow, Mama Milky, bestest roadies. Love tummy ball, Mama. Once the mare had her full cargo secured on her stomach, she set off floating across the warm water. It struck me how hilariously ineffective fluffy tails are for propulsion with the mother swaying her tail mindlessly, barely moving. Mama rub baby, babies rub mama, drink lots of milky, save in mama's tummy bowl. Unfortunately for this fluffy family, their fate was sealed the moment they jumped into the tempting warmth of the spring. Grandma sings to love us, so warm in this lava. Had they just taken the short walk around the spring to the rocks, they may have gotten warmed up nicely from the hot air and gone on to find shelter. However, the deep blue color of the spring water and the multicolored outer rim proved too enticing for the simple-minded creatures, with their unique bowl fluffy physiology making them want to go swimmies. I guess being programmed to be pets for little girls also left them with the desire for anything pretty that overrides reason. The little unicorn foal made quick work gorging himself on his mother's milk, but his expression quickly soured as he apparently filled his belly too quickly. The 
exponential temperature increase, paired with the vapors from the spring, seem to help make the little foal violently nauseous. I wouldn't be surprised if her teeth being possibly heated up had made the milk go sour as he drank. Oh, baby! Mama already told you! No say that no more- <laughs> The colt vomited up all of his mother's milk, eliciting distress from himself as well as the rest of the family. His Pegasus sister immediately rushed to try to help, while the mare was panicking over being thrown up on. Before any of them had a chance to act, the foal's little puddle of thrown up milk began to simmer from the still growing heat. Their distraught babbling was cut short when the mare realized what was happening. The mare started thrashing in pain from the sizzling liquid on her stomach bowl, meanwhile kicking up now nearly scalding water up into the air around her, landing on her foals and getting in the bowl. Her submerged back fluff began to boil off and started floating up. I can only imagine her skin under was blistered very badly. The mare seemed to have been worked up into a rage, suddenly screaming something about forever sleepies before launching one of her foals off into the spring water. Unfortunately for her and the remaining foal, she didn't account for the motion in her anger and began to slowly tip over. The mare continued to turn over, with the final foal slowly losing its grip. As she tumbled on top of her foal, the ground began to rumble. Apparently, in their infinitely shitty luck, these fluffies had found themselves an active geyser. Yeah, no. Fuck that. Nope, 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 nope. As much as I wanted to see where this would go, I wasn't about to stand in the blast zone. As the rumbling got more intense and the water began to steam up a storm, I sprinted away to get clear of the geyser. 
I managed to get away with time to spare. It was quite a spectacle to behold. When you're not worried about getting blasted with volcanically heated water. Curiosity got the better of me, and I went to check out the aftermath. It was a pretty grisly sight. The mother was unrecognizable, with flesh melted to expose broken bones and bulging fat. Organs were splattered below her, along with copious amounts of blood. Her little filly had exploded head first on impact, reduced to half a torso. This mare had moronically led herself and her children to a mangled demise.